Hello Libra and welcome to Soul Sundays. Libra, it's a quick three card spread, three cards from the tarot, uh, one for your romance, one for your health and uh, one oracle card for your week ahead. So let's see what's coming up for you. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Spirit, can I please have three cards? Thank you. Uh, one for mind, body and soul for Libra week beginning the 12th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Nice and quick. Um, massive shout out to the Chan sisters who made a incredible donation to the channel so that I was able to purchase some new decks for everyone. These are a series um, from Esther and Jerry Hicks who talk about the law of attraction. They have some great books. If you are interested and haven't heard of them, let me know, write in the comments below and I'll tell you all about it. Um, but thank you ladies, your donation helped me buy new um, decks and also these beautiful flowers. But Libra, um, coming up, quite strong in this reading you have a scorpio also a fire sign aries leo sagittarius could also be dealing with a lot um a younger air sign gemini um libra like yourself or aquarius now it talks about transformation it could be transformation in a connection and for some of you it's to do with work but i think for a lot of you it's to do with a love connection um you've got um someone that's coming up here that's quite passionate and it's like they're being a little bit demanding on your time on your energy i have the death card here for transformation and then the page of swords often speaks about spying on one one another and i feel like you're even though i don't have the eight of swords here i'm getting that energy of um kind of trapped and needing to make a decision you've got the seven of pentacles here in your love position so it's it's like waiting for your tree to bear fruit waiting for a role, results waiting for a uh, sign waiting for something to tell you um I, I feel like for a lot of you though and i talked about this bringing sexy back in your connection um you're really trying to um, have a transformation within your exist existing partnership now for those that are single this can speak about wanting to bring in a new partnership but i, I want to talk to the couples for a second because this is really about um transformation within existing bond king of wands is someone that is very charismatic they're sexy they they hold their own they walk into a room and people notice right um they have this charm that you can't be taught it's just it's just part of who they are um at the lower vibration of the knight of wands they tend to be the the players right they get this bad rep of being the players that flighty energy in and out and it's it's just that experience that they're choosing to have at the time it doesn't speak to who they are as a person or their value um so if this is your person or your counterpart well done because they're a catch but you know this but that doesn't always mean that just because someone's a catch that they're right for you and relationships ebb and change and flow because we as people change and flow and when things no longer suit us it's important to speak up and have the clarity to tell people how you feel i feel like you've been holding back libra like you've been trying to do everything that you can in terms of changing yourself but i feel like in some ways you've been you've been holding back and just kind of oh things will get better things will get better. I'm just waiting for things to get better. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not putting effort in. That's what I'm trying to say to you here. You are putting effort in, but putting effort in in the wrong places. Um, I really feel like this week with Mercury going direct and Venus now direct, which governs your sign, um, you'll see the energy shift and you might be able to find your voice and actually communicate how you're feeling. Um, the seven of pentacles in this deck speaks about patience, right? It's like waiting for an outcome, waiting to see what's going to happen. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, you've put much energy into creating and attracting the relationships you desire and are eager to see positive results. Patience is needed, however. Reshaping attitudes and beliefs takes time. Refining yourself so that you'll attract just the right person is a process or change the existing relationship that you're within. If you find yourself becoming frustrated at the apparent lack of visible change, step back and focus on something other than your relationship for a while. When you're feeling more detached, you'll be in a better position to notice any improvements. So it's that whole, I'm in it too deep to be able to look at it from a holistic point of view. Like I can't look at it from above. I'm just like so in the emotion. I'm so sick of fighting and arguing with you and going backwards and forwards and da, 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 and feeling entrapped or you putting pressure on the person. And it's not getting you anywhere, Libra. So the message of this card is really to take a step back. You've invested enough time. Um, so take a moment to evaluate your progress. Are your efforts bearing fruit? 
Are you seeing the desired changes or in your interactions with others? If yes, excellent, carry on. If not, it may be time to shift your approach. Look for alternative strategies to affect the change you desire. What works with one person may not work with another. When working on yourself, be sure that you're being true to who you are and not simply following society's formula for relationships. So that's really important too, because often we stay with people because we feel like it's right when we know deep down that things need to change. And if that is you, then the message here is really to go within this week and have a look. Are your needs being met, Libra? Your health message for this week speaks about listening to your intuition. So I think a lot of the health problems that you have are around this situation. So for some of you, you could be gaining weight, you could be losing weight rapidly due to eating habits changing because you're stressed. Um, For others of you, it's about um, really trying to listen to your body and what your body is trying to tell you, what's the message that your body is trying to give you so that you can make the changes that you need to feel healthy and balanced. And your oracle card this week says, my attention to unwanted can't defy the law of attraction. What does that bloody mean? Basically, it says that if your life has asked you to improve a situation, no matter what it is, um, if you're no longer offering it um, thought, vibrations, whatever it may be, like negative vibrations, then your desire will come to you. But if you cannot continue to be positive, like if you keep putting negative patterns into it, then you're going to stay where you are. It's talking about defying the law of attraction. So the onus really comes to you. And I was speaking to a good friend about this um, just last night and having this conversation and he wasn't stuck in a really bad pattern. And he's like, why won't things ever work out for me? And, you know, all that kind of situation. And I said, everything that is in your life right now, everything you've attracted is by your own choices and by your own doing. And that's a really hard thing to accept because often people go, no, it's, it's, it's not me, it's someone else. But you can't control anyone else. You can only control yourself. You can only control how you treat others. You can only control your boundaries. You can only control your thoughts. And that's what this card is here to tell you, that when you think positively about a situation, when you put the positive out there, which can be phenomenally hard to do when things just feel like shit and you're in the middle of it, right? And for you, this may not be a relationship. This could be work, but I'm just going with the energy that I'm getting that spirit's telling me. Then you need to make the conscious choice for you to go, I'm either going to feed into this negative space or I'm going to rise above and be like, no, that's not the story for us. That's not the story for me. That's not what I believe. But in doing that, you need to stop and actually listen to your intuition about what it is that you want. Ignore the fact of what society tells you is a perfect relationship. It's what makes you feel good and you feel happy. And then you move forward. So this week, the message for you is really listening to your inner guidance system, being positive, positive words, positive affirmations to yourself. And I don't mean rah, rah, positive, right? I don't believe in that bullshit. But what I mean is catching yourself when that negative thought spiral keeps on going and then going, is that actually my truth? Do I actually, do I actually believe that about this person or do I leave that, believe that about the situation or do I believe that about myself? And when you can do that and catch that thought and then shift it around and go, no, that's that's not how I feel because I know I'm amazing. I know I'm loving. I know I deserve love. Then that's when you will actually start to be clearer on what it is, what this result is that you're waiting for, Libra. All right, my loves, that was a bit deep, but I hope you found it helpful. It was much love doing it for you. If you did, please write in the comments below and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.